when you approach the rig to pick it up, open this, this side panel with the church key. When you open this panel, all you have to do is turn the battery switch on. This cable and this cable do not mess with. These are set at the factory, so you do not have to mess with these. Open this panel right here for your ignition switch. Take your key, put it in, turn it up. Make sure your e-stop is pulled out. All you have to do is turn it and it'll pop out. On the radio, you have an e-stop also. It needs to turn to the right and it comes back out. Once that's done, the third switch up, it has a start engine on it. Push in, let off, push in again. And when the screen lights up, it's coming in. Horn goes, you're connected. Push again and let off and it's, the rig will start. When you got the engine running and you go to move the cylinders, go to position two on this switch here. And when you do that, you have to come to this button, push in and release. This is a reset button for any time you change functions. Lift the mast up out of the cradle. When you're ready to tram, go back to position one. Hit your reset. And then you go forward with the number one and number three joysticks. Forward away from you is forward. When you bring them back, that's reverse. The center joystick is for oscillating, to tilt the rig. You have to push the center button in first and then move the stick forward to tilt forward or tilt back to tilt back. That way you don't drag the back end of the rig on the ground. When you get the rig on the truck and get the mast set back down in the cradle, all you gotta do is hit the e-stop. That will turn the rig off and also turn the radio off. 